When you're talking in video conferences, have you ever caught yourself pointing with your hands on the screen as if others can see where you're pointing? Sadly, this kind of body language is not possible in current video conferencing systems. In our work, we build a prototype of a malleable video conferencing system to explore new mechanisms for didactic gestures and study their implications for inclusion in hybrid meetings. My name is Jens Emil Grønbæk, and I'm a postdoc at Aarhus University. This work is done together with my colleagues, Banu, Kala, and Clintons. When communicating through video, our body language is reduced to these small talking heads, and we're missing a shared frame of reference for pointing because what you see is not what I see. This is especially bad for didactic expressions like here and there. We often need gestures to support these expressions, such as pointing with the index finger to an object or person in context. These are called didactic gestures. In this work, we focus on hybrid meetings where multiple co-located participants communicate with remote participants through video. These kinds of meetings often suffer from primary room dominance, where remote participants tend to feel excluded from the group of co-located participants. To address these problems, we build Mirror Blender. Mirror Blender is a prototype designed to support didactic gestures in video conferences with conventional hardware. In conventional video meetings, people share video feeds of themselves and content from screen mirroring, and together we call these video feeds mirrors. Mirror Blender then supports mixing and blending these mirrors in any way desirable for the meeting. So how does Mirror Blender support didactic gestures? Remember, using your real body for pointing in the physical display in the room does not work. In order to point on screen content so that everyone can see it, you must adopt the illusion of using your own representation in the camera mirror for pointing. We built the prototype according to three principles. The first one, WYSIWYS. Mirror Blender establishes a shared frame of reference where everyone in the meeting sees the same synchronized 2D view. Second, malleable mirrors. Every user can manipulate every mirror by moving them around, changing their size and translucency in the WYSIWYS interface. Third, mirror blending. Mirrors can be overlapped and made translucent to create a blended image. This principle supports integration of interpersonal space and workspace, and it's building on the clearboard concept by Hiroshi Ishii and colleagues. We conducted a qualitative study of Mirror Blender with three hybrid meeting sessions, each with three co-located and two remote participants. Participants were taken through a series of collaborative tasks like searching a map together, and these are two of our key results. The first one, didactic gestures via one's mirror image require mental effort, but are more expressive than cursors. Using one's real body for pointing is not as simple as using a mouse cursor. Due to the problem of parallax between the camera and screen, users need to adjust the arm posture, and pointing in this way requires mental effort. So this is, of course, a limitation to this proposal. However, the didactic gestures were very diverse and expressive. With the ability to use both hands, participants came up with interesting symbolic gestures, like when a co-located participant suggested a division of labor in the map task by crossing the arms to indicate four individual map tiles. The second result that I would like to highlight is malleability supports inclusion of remote participants. The ability to manipulate the position, size, and translucency of mirrors enabled remote participants to bring attention to themselves, and this made them feel more included in the meeting. For instance, remote participants often pointed in a bimanual gesture where one hand was used for dragging their mirror in the interface and the other for pointing in the mirror image. They further used gestures like wiggling the mirror to grab everyone's attention or manipulating the prominence of their presence in the meeting by changing their translucency and size of their mirrors. Along with many more examples in the paper, these results lay out exciting new directions for supporting didactic gestures and inclusive participation in hybrid video conferences. Thank you for listening.